Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd. I read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. A God who knows. I don't know if you've ever had this happen to you. You share a deep personal struggle with a friend, and he or she responds, I know exactly what you're going through. After hearing a friend say this, my mouth might say, thanks. But my thought response is probably something like this. Really? Can you really know what I am going through? We doubt our friends when they say it. We doubt the politicians when they say it. I'm an average Joe just like you. I know what you're going through. It just sounds so patronizing to a struggling soul. Can anyone really know what exactly we are going through? The answer is yes. Believe it or not, God knows. God does not just know this because he's omniscient. He knows it in a very personal way. Take a look at the verse again. Our high priest Jesus empathizes with us. He personally knows our human weaknesses and the temptations we face. God is not some distant deity who sits enthroned in a galaxy far, far away, watching us from a distance and shaking his head at our foolishness. Instead, he is a God who entered his own creation to take his people's place in all things, including facing temptation. Think of all the sins Jesus was tempted with as he grew up disrespecting parents, hurtful words, pride, cynicism, apathy, lust, laziness, procrastination. He faced it all, just like we do. Therefore, he can empathize with us. He really knows what it's like. And this is an amazing thing. However, what is even more amazing is that unlike us, Jesus passed all the tests, all of them. He did not sin, no pride, no laziness, no lust, not even once. So the, his I know and I understand mean that much more to us. He is not merely empathizing, he's also forgiving. After we fall into temptation, he does not say, well, you'll just have to try harder next time. He says, I've taken care of this. I faced it. I passed the test. Here's your grade. You are forgiven. Your grade is the same as my grade, perfect in God's sight. Let that soak in for a minute. And now, surrounded by God's love and forgiveness, you might find that those temptations that we struggle with start to look a bit different. They're not just as tempting. Why not? Because Jesus has already faced them for us. He knows. He empathizes. He forgives. We pray. Dear God who knows, we thank you that you are our perfect high priest. Help us to trust in you as we live our lives for you. Amen. Well, my dear friends, may God richly bless you this day, as you know you have a God who knows exactly what you're going through and how to help.